In the cold, stark light of day, I found myself alone, heartbroken and utterly lost. I had been in love deeply and passionately. I gave her my heart, my soul, my everything, but love, as it often does, twisted and turned, leaving me with an empty void. She was gone and I was left in the wake of her departure, a shell of my former self. In the beginning, I was just trying to fill the void, to dull the pain that gnawed at me day and night. It started innocently enough, a distraction, a fleeting moment of pleasure that seemed to quiet the storm inside me. I found solace in the act of masturbation. It was a temporary escape from the reality of my heartbreak. But soon, the fleeting moments turned into hours and the hours into days. I was spiraling, losing myself in the act of self-pleasure. It was no longer about filling the void or numbing the pain. It had become an obsession, a compulsion. I was in the grip of an addiction that was rapidly taking over my life. The more I tried to control it, the more it seemed to control me. It was like trying to hold back the ocean with my bare hands. Every attempt to break free was met with failure and each failure plunged me deeper into despair. I could see the damage it was causing, the relationships it was straining, the opportunities it was costing me, but I couldn't stop. I was trapped in a cycle of pleasure and guilt, of momentary relief and long-lasting regret. I began to question my worth, my purpose, my very existence. Depression cloaked me like a shroud, a constant reminder of my failures and shortcomings. It was a dark time, a time when hope seemed like a distant memory. And so, in the depth of my despair, I fell into a dark habit that would consume me. It was a habit that promised escape but delivered captivity, a habit that offered solace but brought misery, a habit that began in the throes of heartbreak and spiralled into an addiction that threatened to consume my very being. Every day was a battle, a struggle against an unseen enemy. As the sun rose each morning, so did the intensity of my fight. It was like a relentless tide, constantly pulling me in, threatening to sweep me away. I would wake up with a heavy heart, the weight of shame and guilt pressing down on me. The addiction was like a shadow, always lurking, ready to pounce at my weakest moments. Every corner of my life was tainted with this secret obsession. It was a hidden struggle, one that I bore alone, away from prying eyes. The isolation was suffocating, I was trapped in my own world, a world where I was both the jailer and the prisoner. It was a world filled with guilt, shame and self-loathing, where every day was a desperate scramble for control. I was constantly at war with myself. There was the logical part of me, the part that knew the damage I was inflicting on myself, the part that begged me to stop. But then there was the other part, the part that craved the temporary relief, the fleeting sense of escape. The guilt and shame were unbearable, but the worst part was the powerlessness. It felt like I was stuck in a vicious cycle, a never-ending loop of self-destructive behavior. It was a constant tug of war, a daily battle of wills. It was like trying to climb a mountain, but with each step I was slipping further down. It was a struggle, yes, but it was also a silent cry for help, a desperate plea that went unheard. I was drowning in an ocean of my own making and I didn't know how to swim. The days turned into weeks, weeks into months, and I found myself sinking deeper into this abyss. The more I tried to swim against the current, the more it seemed to pull me under. This addiction I had, this need to find solace in a moment's pleasure, was swallowing me whole. I could see the impact it was having not just on my body but on my mind. I was losing control, losing sight of who I was. The person I saw in the mirror was a stranger, a shell of the man I used to be. And the worst part, I was increasingly alienating myself, shutting out the world around me. I was drowning in a sea of loneliness, and it was a loneliness of my own making. Every time I attempted to quit, it felt like I was climbing a mountain only to slip back down to the bottom. I'd start strong, brimming with determination and resolve. But in the face of temptation, I would crumble. And each time I fell, it felt like I was falling further than the last. The sense of failure was crushing, the guilt unbearable. Depression began to take hold, wrapping its cold, unfeeling fingers around my heart. I could feel it seeping into every facet of my life casting a dark shadow over everything. I was losing hope, losing faith in myself. I began to question whether I would ever be able to break free from this cycle or if I was doomed to remain a prisoner to my own desires. The world around me seemed to continue spinning, oblivious to my struggles. I was caught in a whirlwind of self-destruction, spiraling further and further away from the light. The more I struggled, the more entangled I became. It felt like I was fighting a losing battle, a beast that could not be tamed. I was trapped in a cycle of guilt and despair. My addiction was a beast I couldn't tame. And now I am here, standing at the edge of a precipice, reaching out for a lifeline. 
I'm standing here not as a mere voice from your screen, but as a person, a man who's been through the depths of despair, who's been entangled in the thorny bushes of addiction. I'm not here to preach or to instruct, but to plead for your understanding, your advice and your support. You see, I have been fighting this battle in solitude for far too long. The cold, hard truth is that this is a battle I can't win alone. It's like trying to climb a mountain with no ropes, no harness, just my bare hands. I've slipped, I've fallen, and I've picked myself up more times than I can count. But the mountain is steep, and the rocks are slippery, so I'm reaching out, extending my hand, hoping someone out there will grab hold. I'm not asking for a miracle cure or a magic wand that can make this all disappear. I'm asking for your help your advice, your words of encouragement. If you've been through this struggle, if you've felt the same pain, the same desperation, I want to hear your story. I want to know how you faced this monster, how you fought it, how you won. I want to learn from your experiences, your victories, your defeats. I encourage you to share your journey, your struggles, your triumphs. Write them down in the comments. Let your words be a beacon of hope for those who are lost in the darkness of addiction. Remember, it's not about how many times we fall, but about how many times we get back up. It's not about the battles we lose, but about the wars we win. It's about the strength we find in our weakest moments, the courage we muster in our deepest fears. Remember, we are all human, we all stumble and fall, but it's in helping each other up that we truly rise. Please, share your experiences, your struggles, your advice. You never know who it might help.